Hey everybody, uh, it's been a couple weeks. It was really busy last week, so I couldn't show a pickups video or uh, show you what I got. So I'm gonna do it all to get today. So starting with last week's stuff, I got some pretty neat stuff. It wasn't a, a huge week, but I picked up Age of Ultron book six. Kind of a cool cover there. These are like already a week old, so I mean you guys already talked about these and everything, but. Superior Spider-Man, the Cardiac there, number eight. Put that there. Of course, the Cool Judge Red, number six. Can't wait to see what happened in this one. I like those Judge Red covers. Uh, another cool one. Uh, I like really like this one a lot. It's uh, Five Ghosts, book two or number two. This big spider on it right here. Been so busy, I'm having a chance even to read any of these yet. I also picked up uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I don't know, I, I picked up just because just it was there, just to try it. I didn't have very many books that week, so I thought, what the heck, the cover looks really neat. And uh, I was talking to my comic guy, and he was talking about the, uh, this comic they put out annually uh, to help fight um, censorship in comics and, and I, guess, I guess other things like that. It's from Image. And it was a uh, it's Liberty Annual Liberty Annual number in 2012. I didn't it was only listed five dollars, but I got it way cheaper than that. And this book actually has a bunch of different stories in it, and they put it out again to fight censorship. And there's actually a story in here about how the governor. It's a standalone story. It's like uh, even my comic guy doesn't understand why it's not selling very much because um, it's a standalone story for The Walking Dead. Where it shows how the governor starts his fish tank thing, so it's it's really cool. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever. I'll just grab this here. I basically, got I, I less than the cover price, so. so there's different artwork and stuff inside, from different people. So uh, there's another one, a big huge fighting uh, hippopotamus in that story, and then there's another story here. So, but right at the end, there's a quite a few pages of it, and it starts out with this story here, right here. And it's this lone guy with the governor, and he says he appreciates the, you know, the governor going, going to be able to come with the governor, and he doesn't know why he's with him because he doesn't think he likes him, the governor likes him, or anything like that. So, basically, it's about how he has to stare at these fish tanks. Um, to what he's going to do is, here, I'll read it to you. I've been looked upon to leave this place, to become the governor as, as the people have started calling me. In order to do that, I have had to become someone I'm not. I've had a, had to be strong and decisive. I've had to be brutal. He said to push himself. and So what he does is he's going to have these fish tanks so that he can desensitize himself to, this, to the, the, what, he has, what he's being forced to do in his mind. And it says here, well, so what are you going to put in them? The guy says right there, what are you going to put in them? And down here at the bottom it says that there's the governor. And he says, get close there so you can see it. Well, I was thinking about putting about something along the lines of severed heads, starting with yours. And then you can see his face is just, yeah, I, don't want, I wouldn't want that guy to be on my team. <laughs> so I I. I I don't have any Walking Dead comics because they um, they're really expensive to get and hard and be hard to finish the collection. They might go down in price once the show is over for a while, but I thought for I got 25% off, so I got it for four dollars. So what what the heck? It's just one issue, and it's, it, it helps support the uh, the censorship thing. Uh, whoa, holy cow! That was almost fell off. Whoa! Talk about dings on the side. Uh, this week's comics I got were Helheim number two. Can't wait to see what happened in this. And I got Judge Dread year one number two. Like my Judge Dread fix. Let's put that there with the other one. Now uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy is really cool. What's cool is they've already 
which you hear, they've already announced that uh, Glamora will be played by the, uh, Lieutenant Uhura on Star Trek, the new Star Trek, and Michael Rooker will be playing, um, I can't remember the name now, I think it's the blue dude, <laughs> but uh, uh, this, I got Flash number 19, it's really cool, it's got uh, the reverse Flash on the fold-out cover, it looks actually pretty neat. I kind of like uh, the old yellow flash. It's because he was because the flash is red. This guy's red. He's you know not opposite sort of thing, but he is. I guess I haven't, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Uh, Fantastic Four number seven. I think these are shipping twice a month, so this could be getting kind of expensive. That is a really neat color, though. How they're in the little bubble there. Use that white stuff. Uh, East of West number two. That's a pretty cool one. Can't wait to start reading these. I'm going to start as soon as I finish the video here. So it's been so crazy around here. So uh, Avengers number 10. Some cover. Get that cover. And last but not least is Hawkman number 19. Now there's only one more left after this, I think, because I can only see up to 20. So um, my, my great my great Hawkman is coming to an end. The fold-out cover is uh, Hawkman, his greatest defeat at the hands of Blockbuster. Kind of a crazy looking dude there. So, and the artwork is still pretty cool inside. I'll show you the first page. There's the first page. It still looks really good. So that's pretty cool. And let's get put that back. Uh, now, I did a big lot of Marvel treasuries. I can't seem to stop getting these. So, I'll show you real quick the ones I got. I got Rampaging Hulk. I had this one when I was a kid. I read it so much the pages fell off, so I actually got to do it again. If you don't know the story, that's actually Betty Roth. I'm really sure it's Betty Roth. She, she, was, she was changed by. Yeah, it was, it was it was Betty, Betty Talbot. I guess that's when she married someone else. Okay. Uh, I I got this other rampaging Hulk book. Doctor Doom on the front. How can you beat Doctor Doom? Menacing there, that dude. And I also got I got a bunch of them. So bear with me, please, while I try to. Get them in a good order here. You got a, this, now this one's really beat up, but it's a Star Wars. It's kind of beat up there. Still kind of neat though. The back cover is still really cool. So I'll put them over here because they're going to fall. And I want to break them. You got Howard the Duck. Now this is a really good shape one, this one. On the back, it's got them. Get down on America. And it's got the reverse of it. Hulk, you think you'd let Hulk put it down on his butt? I don't know. What's cool is it's got different stories in here. It's actually got uh, Man Thing in here as well. And just, that's kind of hard to see, but let's try to find him here. Find a good picture of Man Thing. There he is. And things in there too. It's got a bunch of different stories from the comics in there. Oops, wrong way. There he is, bending that blue guy. So that was a pretty cool. It's a good shape. Uh, giant superhero holiday grab bag. There's a Christmas one. On the back, it's got some more superhero seasons greetings. Uh, I got a Fantastic Four one with a cool picture of Galactus on it. Uh, this one's in this one's in fairly good shape. I like this one. Marvel's TV sensation. You hold Galactus, and there's Silver Surfer on there with them. On the back, you know, it's got Galactus and the cosmos there, and some cool stuff. 
Uh, another giant superhero holiday grab bag. Another special one. And on the back is just the reverse of them going through the front. Cool. I can't stop getting these. I don't know. They're super cool. Uh, this is a neat one I got. Buck Rogers. Awesome TV show. I've got the DVD for it, the, the complete season of it. And on the back, there's the cool star, uh, the fighters, and there's Buck, Tiger Man. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Little little robot. I can't remember his name. And then his uh, big alarm clock. Uh, this one's in really bad shape, but I'm still glad to have it. It's uh, Battlestar Galactica. Great show when I was a kid. The new show was even even better. I really like the new show. I love it. Yeah, this, this one was in such great shape. It's got a price tag on the back here. I'm going to try to get off. And it was one of the worst ones we had, so let's see if I can get it off right now. What am I doing? I'm wasting your time. I'm not going to waste your time taking that off. This is a pretty cool one. It's a giant superhero team up book. And it's got all the super, so everybody you see fighting each other is what they who they fight in the in the comic. The back is really neat. It's got the Hulk versus Thor, Surfer versus Spider-Man, Daredevil versus Captain America, and the Thing versus Submariner. The back of the cover looks really cool. Not too many left. Uh, five more. Now I did get this one. I have this. One. I showed this one before, but I got another one. This is a lot. I got it in, but. Uh, it's Doctor Strange. It's got a bit of a pen mark in the S there. So, it's got, so I got two of these guys. And then again, there's their model in the back. I'll probably just keep the other one and just read this one. This one's, like I can say, it's not in great shape, but it's still, it's still good for me. Uh, this one I don't have. This is Thor. And it has one little date, date mark up here with pen. But other than that, it's in really good shape. It's not awesome shape, but it's in good shape. He's fighting this dude here. And the back is really neat. These marble treasures are really cool. And the artwork is really cool too. There's Thor in there. And this one is the Fantastic Four. It's got a marker, uh, markdown price on the top here. 35 cents they marked it at, someone did. But it's got a cool Doctor Doom cover. The back is really cool too. There's the baddie duty there, and Doctor Doom, Medusa, some Mariner. I didn't know anywhere, but it looks like kind of like Sandman when he had his back in the 80s, I'm trying to think, maybe the 70s, maybe the 90s. He had a weird costume. This is another giant superhero holiday grab bag. And this has got actually Luke Cage on the front, which is really cool. And this with his tiara. I was five years old when this book came out. 75. There's Hulk in his little Santa suit. And there's Luke Cage and Santa Claus. Santa Claus. These are all pretty cool stories in here. Everybody you see on the front is basically is in the in the book. So there's the new cage story. These are pretty cool. And last but not least is probably one of the best ones I got. This actually came in a bag and a board, but it um, it is this Captain America bicentennial battles. Actually, I'm actually gonna take it out of the bag. Pretty cool. Look at that. Jack Kirby King Size Spectacular. And the back cover looks really cool, really patriotic. And Happy 200th birthday. It's got it's, it's a really nice book, too. Oh. Here's the here's a cool thing. There's the Hitler, Bucky, and Red Skull. 
It's got a bunch of cool stories in it. Oh, this is a great look at this two page splash here for this one. Look at this. Holy smokes. That's a big, big, uh, big piece of uh, paper. Or big picture, I'm sorry. And then there's some more. Some cool stuff. This is, this is a really nice one. And that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I, I'll be back next week with my other stuff that I picked up. Got some more stuff coming. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.